Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, it, it's always a confusion because when we talk even about Zimbabwe, you see that there is expectation that outsiders would help the situation. That uh, mm. uh, the country, uh, the more we raise noise, the more things will change or the faster things will change. And mm. there's also, also the... Uh, the thing of hearing the other side. So if yeah. I was a Sanu PF supporter, uh, what kind of Zimbabwe do I want to see? If yeah. I was an MDC supporter, what kind of Zimbabwe do I want to see? What should be the relationship between the government and the party? And yeah. how do I become relevant? So when we look at the political parties, some people already think they own the group, like the WhatsApp group. How yeah. many people think because I'm admin, I am a better person? And yeah. because I'm close to the person who is admin, then I can go inbox them and they, they, will, they will make decisions that suit my interest. How many of us would rather have someone hold the keys of a car and trust somebody not to drive the car unless you have given them authority to do so? Yeah. So yeah. all these are the pains that we all suffer. And we suffer because we have never negotiated it. So yeah. even among close people, we never talk about that, make sure that we understand what the role of radio is, what the role of a journalist is and is not. So what mm. mentorship is, what mentorship is not, who needs to learn? There are many people who actually don't think they need to learn anything because they know everything. I know that, like I'm saying, like this definition of mentorship, like I say, I don't think it's really clear. Well, I think it's more of the term, like uh, we know we, we was like I was saying to say yesterday or mentioned yesterday that some people who are here they are CEOs of whatever organization. Some of them they are just coming because they want business, right? But with whom? Yeah. So if we say, yeah, I mean, to look for for business, but who do you want to work with? What connection do you have to those people? Yeah. Who are they? Where did they come from? What do they want? But if you find you have a country or a nation where people don't want to learn from anybody, how do you build it? Yeah, that's, that, that's the thing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, this understanding of what, when we say mentorship, what are we talking about? That's or even even now, you, you, I don't know whether since you're a political actor, you saw... Uh, Tyson, uh, Muzambi, and uh, uh, Joao, uh, a meeting with the Secretary General of the ANC. And then he, you also saw Tony and Gany there, they took a picture. Mm -hmm. And then the Secretary General of the ANC then issued a, a statement or at a press conference to talk to this. So imagine yeah. you are ZANU PF, and you already know this meeting has taken place. Yeah. And someone comes from South Africa to say there's a problem in Zimbabwe, and yeah. South Africa has a role to play. That picture will be used quickly to dismiss any attempt at solving the Zimbabwean problem. Because already you are seen to have taken sides. Yeah. So that already is closed. And the people who went to see the Secretary General took pictures, they may not understand that they are hardening the other side. Mm. And the first meeting you have is you are already being accused of uh, being a part of a regime change agenda. Mm. But the SG of the NC met these guys in good faith. Just to hear their story without making any decision. Mm. Then Malema comes in 
He says uh, there is a problem in Zimbabwe. South Africa must uh, be part of it and that we must go and uh, attack the embassy and therefore make uh, Zimbabwe ungovernable. But whose government is it? The moment you make it ungovernable, if you don't like a certain part of the harvest, what do you do? If the mangoes are rotten, what do you do with the mangoes? You paint them. But are you going to paint the whole crop because the few are no. rotten? No, you burn, you throw away what is rotten and you keep the rest. Yeah, so you go and say, who in government should not be in government? Mm. And why? Then you target only those people in the group. So that they become smelling as you want them to smell. But for things that they've done, but not for group damage. Mm. I can't say the whole group, uh, the whole WhatsApp group thinks this way because of one person. No, not, no, it doesn't work. Yeah, so one person who speaks for, uh, then let's deal with that and solve that problem. And allow the person to give his own view. You know, like you say, hashtag Zimbabwean lives matter. You know what happens? And if you go to hashtag of Mnangagwa, you know what he says. He may be saying, hashtag, oh, Zimbabwean lives matter. And I'm the best protector of Zimbabwean lives. Yeah, yeah. And these okay, people... They're doing, they're, doing, they're doing their best. Yeah, these people want, uh, they don't know about COVID. COVID, even in South Africa, our comrades in the NC, why did you have to lock down? Mm. And we have seen soldiers in the street trying to enforce curfew. Mm. But in Zimbabwe, you don't want us to give curfew. Because what? Because you don't like us. Mm. Yeah, what do you think? What, whose agenda are you pursuing now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It becomes tricky because we are already like as a PP. Is it we say you know like people shouldn't go on the street because they will just be beaten for nothing, and we are already an enemy of progress. We are enemy of Zimbabweans for saying that. Yeah. So if you don't if agree, if, on their own, yeah, hashtags on their own, they won't be able to solve anything, and we don't need people from outside to come and solve Zimbabwean problems. We Zimbabweans have to make a step forward and start solving our own problems. By first understanding where are we, how did we get there, and start looking for solutions ourselves. But no, because we are saying that we are also part of ZANU, so yeah, I kind of understand what you're So doing. even if I tweet, they say, if I say, let's understand what Tagwire Isakunda issue is, people already say, Mawere, you're an apologist. This man is a yeah. guilt as charged. But yesterday yeah. it was me being lynched. And who came to my rescue? Mawere externalized money. Mawere did this. Mawere did that. Nobody came to my rescue because they already made conclusions that Mawere is as guilty as charged. And then you say, look, yeah. isn't Mawere it? Mawere was eating while you were eating with them. Yeah. You are eating with them and you are one of them. So why should we listen to you? Yeah. But we can learn from one bad example. And Americans are doing the same, imposing sanctions. The person, what are the facts? What if the person yeah, is? What I'm trying to say, <coughs> they say if America, if Zimbabwe was as bad as they say uh, Zimbabwe is, and especially America case, why are they building their biggest embassy in Zimbabwe in a country that is rotten? No, even if they build, let's say they they build the embassy. But uh, you are no longer free to speak your mind. If Americans say there is a problem, there is a company called Sakunda. They are public resources that have been uh, uh, put to this company only. The issue of public funds and Americans have an interest because they are they are assisting the people of Zimbabwe either through NGOs or through the government or directly. So if they have a, a, an obligation or a moral obligation to support Zimbabwe, they have a, a direct and material and substantial interest in knowing 
how the funds are being used because if the funds are used correctly, it means they don't have to send money here. They can send it to Somalia, to other countries. So you are there, helpless. The people of Zimbabwe, the parliament of Zimbabwe, the courts in Zimbabwe, they give the benefit of the doubt to the people in government. And there's nobody who is challenging them in a clear and coherent manner to say, guys, government, this cannot continue. Why would one company get this contract? Why yeah, would one yeah. company exchange uh, Zim dollars for US dollars at a different exchange rate for me? I go at the auction rate, he gets the money. I go to the auction yeah. rate, I don't get the money. I have to buy yeah. stuff using the black market rate. Mm -hmm. So why should one person be privileged to get this? Let's have that discussion about Sakunda, about uh, this, uh, uh, the parliamentary committee. Was it a, a, a committee to establish the fact or a committee to discredit those you don't like? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's what, uh, that's what we need to be able to deal with. Yeah. You know that another thing that we are discovering, we have many people who just want, you know, like everything that has to be spoken, at least that's what we have we are we are we as a people now. To say the moment you say anything that is is against Zanu, you are okay. The moment you say anything that is against the MTC, then you are all wrong and you are leashed before you even go anywhere. To say yes, you know what, as a nation, if we are going to start and build Let's look at the fact, all the facts that we have without being here, I am pro this. And whoever is doing wrong should be said, this is wrong. And whoever is doing right should be said, this is right. You know, I, 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 there's, a, there's a discussion that I made the other day where I was talking, you know, like uh, and our sanctions. I, I mentioned our sanctions that destroying our nation and all that. For example, the call me and said, like, you know what? And he's one of these op opposition party leaders as well. I actually like what you said, Vimbai, but the problem with you is you we went on and said how is some how something that destroying the people. And that cannot be said on open space. You shouldn't say that because the moment you say that you are already supporting uh Zan, you are already supporting them to, to you know like to be able to for the for the for the for the world to understand that people are suffering. And I'm thinking, I don't understand you. You know. What's the example that I gave? It's not example from somewhere. It's a simple example that I myself went through. So I know what I'm talking about as a, as a normal person. And I'm thinking, No, but uh, why yeah, don't we use the C2C framework? Let's say we have a show. You play mm -hmm. MDC. I play ZANU PF. And let's talk about sanctions. What is ZANU PF's position? And you give the MDC position. No, why don't we get an MDC person to do that? No, they well, don't. I, they don't want. I, they'll be lynched. What? What are you doing on the platform of Zanu? Yeah. No, no, yeah. The thing, why, why I'm no, no because people are divided. I, I play that role. No, no. We are saying that we are playing the show. This is our reality show. Coming from the sea to sea is part of mentorship. Let's hear all the arguments without you accusing me. And we tell if the I people. Play, if I, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you play Zanu PF and I play MMDC. I, I'll be lynched as well. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying is, uh, but do not doing so. You are. Why did you get into ZPP unless you want change? Why? What? Who yeah, is? I want that change. That's why I'm saying. I want that change. That's, that's exactly why I started it. And the moment I play the size of both of them, I'm already in trouble with them. No, no, I'm saying is you better be, because there is two elephants that are positioning themselves. When you say ZPP, yes. they will say ZPP is a ZANU PF project. They've already said that. Yeah, so I'm from saying day, is, day is, day one. is ZPP, day one. yeah, is ZPP part of a, a ZANU PF project? There are many people who believe that you can't be independent. You are not walking on your feet. You got crutches or wheelchair from ZANU-PF. 
you know they don't even believe that how can people without levels start a party yet we don't boast none of us in the pp has got any level and none of us has got a fat bank account we are just ordinary people so for most people it's, it's not possible there should be a big somebody behind us but there isn't it's just no, they, you know, I was criticized for the same. That Mawere, for him to buy SMM, they had to be a big man. Nothing has changed. Yeah. So that is the yeah. mentality. But to confront it, let's play the game. <laughs> because you are in, a, in this project, C2C. How do you build a community around gossip, around rumors, around labeling? That you are a prostitute. Yeah. Oh, we've seen you too much yeah. with Maweri. Ah, there must be something going on. And uh, it, yeah. that yeah. is how the mind is. Yeah. Yeah, so the only way to confront it is to play that game. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And the thinking, like, when we grew up, we grew up just being told, you know, Zan, you know, fix everything. And today we are still saying the same thing. To say no, you know what, they might have been doing that. But from now onwards, what are we doing as a nation to make sure that, you know, it doesn't happen? Let's change the game. Yeah. yeah. So so you remember, you, you remember even me, uh, a guy called Charamba, uh, he even said, and this man knows nothing, but he, he just... Uh, believes that because he works for government he knows more than you or me yeah, yeah. even your life yeah. they will tell it as if you are now a zanu pf project then you say how do i become a project of nothing imagine you become a project of zero what is zanu pf to you do you live zanu pf do you yes, eat zanu pf i've never been part of them i ever always knew they were trouble no, but no, it's not because they are trouble. But imagine you have a, a, a party of members. Then somebody says you are you are part of this project. They don't even go to Zanupiev to establish whether you are ever a member. They, yeah, that's they, what I'm saying. That, you know, we have been accused of that. And it's like a person like me, I was never a member of MDC or member of Zan. Never. No, I'm saying is this issue of membership or belonging of association, don't you think yeah. there, there is a cause for us to build a, a community around those issues? That's what that's why I was talking of commitment. Because if I become a member of something, I'm willing to put time, I'm willing you know, the same applies to it only becomes uh funny when it becomes uh, like in this case. The people want to become member of this big man, Mr. Maweri, who has done things, but it just didn't happen. You work hard. You stay your nights up doing what you're doing, planning and doing, talking to people, right? And if we look at it like now, how many days have we been talking? We talk to each other almost every day. No, but every I'm time. saying is, I'm it's saying you're, you're already, you're already going back. I'm saying just now where we are to then uh, yeah. provoke people. Uh, what is it that we can, I said, let's play the part or let's find people in our communities who can represent different views yeah, about, yeah, let's do it now. about, let's do it about now. a we problem. Can, yeah. Yeah. We but, ask, we, we can, we can put no, no, I'm I saying is can, why, why ask somebody if I'm the human being who can play it? <laughs> But why wish somebody to be Mandela yeah. when you can be Mandela yourself? You walked on the same on the same earth. Mm. Why do we need to find rent people to play the parts that so is Zimbabwe divided? You want to be a politician yes. in Zimbabwe. People are saying you have you are already an agent of another agent. Because ZANU PF itself is a vehicle for members. Mm. And they are saying that although you are not a member, you are part of something that they can't even define. Mm. So why, what is it that we, there are many people who are fighting over the word MDC. Because yeah. they believe yeah. that are they there is a... Seven groups now? Yeah? Are they not seven groups now? I don't know, but they, they, what is in a name? So 
And why do we need an individual to lead us? Mm. Yeah. That's the Messiah, the Messiah syndrome. No, that's our that's no, it's in our WhatsApp groups. It's not outside Messiah. No. Just a person set up a group, he says it's my group. Yeah. And that's if you I'm don't it's a, it's a messiah syndrome. You know, no, you are elevating it to, to you are elevating it to a messiah. It's just that uh, uh, we become lazy to talk about it. You know how many people we can discourage from being little dictators in WhatsApp. Yeah, already, I'm being accused of being a dictator, even by having this show. And I said, but yeah. I, but but all the platforms, I can go to Periscope, I can go to Twitter, to LinkedIn, and broadcast myself. Why do I need to force myself into one into one a, a platform? Yeah. Yeah. But how many people feel aggrieved that I want to be in that group? And how many people ask you, what is the group for? So that question is informed by some kind of idea that the group is a person. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they say, hashtag ZANUPF must go. Because they believe ZANUPF is a person. Yeah. So this is not about Messiah. It's just about literacy, about understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So even after we spoke yesterday, some people feel they have been muzzled. They have been uh, uh, thrown off base. Yeah, I noticed it. That's why sometimes, like I was saying the other day, that, you know, the more, you, the, the more I, I end up keeping quiet, like, you know what? We want we want this thing to move and we need to build it, but it has to be on it's a willing, it's a willing, willing base, you know, the willing, willing base. Yeah. One thing, let's do it together. Not that you know we want to prove we, we can do it. There's nothing to prove to anybody because everybody's coming here on free will. No, I'm saying is that but once you observe that, what should be the way forward? So it means once you observe there is a problem, yeah. let's try to solve it by talking about it, not by ignoring yeah. it. That is true that people genuinely believe that ZANU-PF has a power to cause somebody else to be its agent. Mm. And what you, when you become an agent, what you become? Are you still a human being? Or a logo yeah. of a human being? Of a logo for human no, no, but there is a feeling that is true that uh, there are people who say Zanupiev must go, there are people who say Mugabe must go, and not knowing that uh, the absence of one man or a few of his friends does not change anything. And there are people who were thrown off the bus uh, because they were seen to be close to Mugabe, and you know now what they want as well. They want to throw the people who they were working with with under Mugabe, under the bus again. You, but using the yeah. people, trying to say South Africa must come in so that the uh, one faction of an, of the same family fights another faction. And that's what the people should should see. And that's what we have been saying as well, to say, you know what, before you can just walk up and say, I'm following this, first stop and think and reflect for yourself. But then we become a project because we are saying that. No, no, but I'm saying is what you are saying is what do you have to think about doing? If I'm going to be in a bus, do I have to think about the journey? And whether you're going to, why would I ride in a bus when I know the driver is drunk? Exactly. But even the, the guy who is not drunk can still be involved in an accident. Mm. Huh? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so why can't we talk about this uh, devil, this ghost? Called the political party. Why set up ZPP if you know ZPP is going to be a person? We we like I said, we are already in 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 in, in, in chaos because of that. Like as in because we said we are not choosing any president candidate now. We we'll have to start work and see. Let's but people want to know the leader because they want to know the That's person. Exactly. No, no. And but why do you, like why do you seem? That's why someone was saying. Why don't you become part of the executive and say today I'm a president 
of a party, then we fight you now, knowing that you. Say, yeah. No, we don't need that. We need to build value. We need to build a team of people who want to make a better Zimbabwe. And then. But don't you, don't you think we should talk about what is a political party with you? What is yeah, it? A president is just a, like in our case, a president is just about who will be put in position to represent the whole party. Like, no, we want you to give us one person. Like, why are you creating a dictator? You don't need dictators. We need but, everybody. But why to don't we start us. to talk about WhatsApp dictators? Because we need them. We need admin. I've been asked so many times to be admin, and I said everyone must be admin. But every time I open and say everyone must be admin, there's chaos. Yeah. So if there are no admin, people keep quiet. And nothing happens anyway because they, they are waiting for the dictator to say anything. Mm. Yeah, but meanwhile, privately, they are saying, oh, no. Hey, my where is the dictator, man? Yeah. 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 He stopped me from my... St I wanted to advertise my bus. Then he told me not to advertise. And why others, <laughs> why others are being allowed to advertise. But yeah, is there no cause in learning about political parties in your mentorship program? No, in our mentorship program. Definitely. Definitely. Because at the end of the day, the other issue that is cropping up, especially in our case, is that they're saying, like, why are you opposing the opposition? As an opposition party, you, have, yeah, you just have to, like, talk about ZAN, what ZAN is doing. You don't talk about MTC or anybody else. Like, but no. <laughs> As an opposition party, you are supposed to talk about what's happening in the country. And in, 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 in MDC is not is part of that government. So as part of the government, we talk about what all of them are doing in this government. Uh, Jesus. So okay. Please. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's use that uh, to talk about uh, this uh, conundrum, this uh, problem of identity. And I call it identity politics that uh, as human beings we want to belong once we belong we want to take ownership once we take ownership anyone who is not one of us becomes an enemy of an enemy of us where does this idea come from very soon yeah. anc zanpf members are going to hate each other mm. and uh, was it really even if we look like, why should, if, why, why are we looking outside for outside help? What are we doing as ourselves? I guess uh, that's a question. Uh, who is us? Mm. And what are we doing for us? But there are political parties who claim us and who talk on behalf of us. And we end up just becoming objects of uh, political actors who are looking for offices in government. Once they assume office positions, they will soon uh, run away from you. Yeah. So there you go.